Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, we're actually gonna be combining Notion and Anki to make one space repetition platform. Now, I actually stumbled upon an app the other day called Repetify. Now, this app was really interesting because what it did was essentially combine Notion toggle lists and Anki flashcards into one system. I really like this app and that's kind of why I wanted to share it with you guys and make a video on it. For those of you that don't know what Notion is, I have plenty of videos talking about Notion that I will link above right here. However, if this is your first time hearing about Notion, Notion is a platform that allows you to combine Word documents, Microsoft Excel, and essentially a note-taking system that will actually help you out a lot with school and it is something that I personally use to study. Anki is kind of a flashcard system that has a very smart algorithm that combines space repetition and active recall to help you do well in school. Now again, this app that I found called Repetify is an app that combines Notion toggle lists and flashcards into one area. And it's actually incorporated and integrated into Notion. That way you can actually study in one area, combining space repetition and active recall while also seeing all your notes in one area. And that's what we'll be doing in this video today. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to use Repetify. And I'm gonna give you guys an example. We'll call this example number one. Let's say this is for um, a biology class and say, what is the mitochondria? Mitochondria. And the answer will put it. Oh, I spelled mitochondria wrong. That's okay. And the answer is the power, the powerhouse of the cell. Okay. We'll make another question. Uh, let's see. Let's do what does DNA stand for? And then we'll do deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay, so we have two questions here. Now again, I'm just doing this as an example. Once you've actually downloaded Repetify, which is a Chrome extension, we'll go to its website right now. We'll do Repetify. You'll find it as kind of the first one actually. You're gonna install it for free, and this will actually create the plugin into your Chrome browser, which you'll find uh, right here. So I have it, uh, there you go. There, Repetify Space Repetition Software. And this, again, like I told you, will allow you to combine Notion and Anki. And when you have it downloaded into Chrome, you'll find actually a section in your Notion um, that says Create Deck at the top over here. So what you're gonna do is click on it, and we're gonna do from toggles, being that we already created toggle lists over here, not from texts. And we don't have access to this page. Let's give it access, select pages, allow access. Okay, now once you've synced it, your setup will kind of look something like this and your, your, your questions will be highlighted orange. Now you will actually have the option to study these as flashcards or to see them actually in Notion and study them here through Notion. Like I said earlier, this actually combines Notion and Anki, or rather Notion and creating flashcards. And there's two ways that you could actually answer these flashcards. The first way is actually on Notion by itself. You could look at the card, say, okay, what is the mitochondria? The powerhouse cell, okay, did I get that right? You're gonna click on these dots over here and you'll have the option of either saying, you got it, you know, it was easy, it was, you know, it was good, you got it right, or you got it wrong. And by doing this, this will actually change the highlighting of the card. As you can see, it turned red. Same thing with the DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. If I do green, then it will turn green. And it actually syncs very well with Repetify. So if I do study as flashcards, I'm actually going to find those two flashcards over here. And I can answer them here rather than answering them on Notion. So let me give you guys an example. Let's say that I, you know, for what is a mitochondria, I do uh, good. I do three out of three. By doing this, this will actually sync with Notion. And I'll show you guys, it's gonna turn green. And I'm gonna do three out of three. Now we come back here to do Notion and you'll notice it turned green. And that's because they sync together. So you can either answer these questions on Notion or you can answer them actually on the Repetify software and do your flashcards there. And that's something that I really like about this software. There's also some neat tricks that you could do with Repetify while you're actually on their site. And that is by using keyboard shortcuts. So let's say I'm doing study more. Uh, you could do space to flip the card. Then when you answer again, good or easy, you could actually use keyboard shortcuts on your keyboard. And that is one, the number one, two or three. One is again, two is good, 
and three is easy. So that's exactly like Anki. So let's say the two, it's going to be good. And the same thing, so on and so forth. And like I told you, it would update here automatically. And that's something that I really like about Repetify. Now you might be asking yourself, why is this so important? Why is space repetition and active recall so important? And there's actually loads of research out there on it. I have plenty of videos talking about the importance of space repetition and active recall for helping you do well on your exam. But just to summarize, it's actually better for you over a long period of time to study rather than cram things the night before or even the week before. Now this is common knowledge and I'm sure a lot of people already know this, but what a lot of people might not know is actually active recall and that is the best way of studying and actually doing good on your exams is not rereading information or going through your information again, but it's rather retrieving that information from your memory. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing on Notion or on Repetify by creating these flashcards where you have questions and you can actually see the chronology or rather you could see, you know, the whole scope of everything you're studying in one area on Notion and then you could actually study that on Repetify. Now that's kind of a common a con that a lot of people say about Anki and that you do memorize information, but it's hard to understand it and to actually connect the dots between all the information. And that's the positive of actually about creating things on Notion with toggle lists is that you could see everything going on, what came before, what comes after, and it really helps understand the information a bit more. And that's why I think everybody that uses flashcards or Notion for studying should definitely look into using Repetify. Repetify is a free software, so that's what's really great about it. And it was actually made by a student, someone like you and me, that was also in a similar situation where they wanted to do well in school and they found a software that could actually help, or they developed the software rather, that could actually help them do so. Now, this is a very short and simple video. I just wanted to show you guys what Repetify was. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below in the comments. I know this isn't a common software out there that a lot of people know about, so that's why I wanted to bring it to you guys' attention. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care and take it easy.